now we are going to discuss about the displacement diagram for a cam so displacement diagram which means what the displacement diagram is the one in which it represents the angular displacement of the cam in x axis angular displacement of the cam or angle of the cam rotation represents in x axis and the displacement of the follower or the follower displacement represents in y axis right so the displacement from initial position to the final position this is initial position and this is final position this is the lift of the follower total lift of the follower right and uh, the displacement diagram consists of three distinct parts one is rise return and dwell rise which means the follower moves from initial position to top position right then return which means the follower returns from uh, uh, final position to the initial position and dwell dwell which means the period during which the follower remains at rest right that is called as dwell dwell may be between rise and return or after return also right that depends on the requirement of the uh, cam now the types of follower motions the cam can be designed to provide any desired motion to the follower theoretically a large number of follower motions are possible but here i have mentioned only few motions uh, because other follower motions result in high stress and series of vibrations right here i have mentioned only few which are very important one is uniform velocity motion and simple harmonic motion and uniform acceleration and retardation motion and cycloidal motions right let us discuss one by one uniform velocity motion see the cam angle or cam displacement represent in x axis and the follower displacement in y axis and this is the displacement of the follower total displacement from initial position to uh, final position right final position right so this is dwell dwell already we discussed Uh, the uh, dwell it is a period uh, during which the follower remains at rest right rise which means the follower moves from initial position to uh, final position right return which means from final position to initial position right here uh, since the velocity of the follower is uniform right that's why we are call it as uniform velocity motion right therefore the slope of the displacement curve see here bc and DC, de right the slope of the displacement curve must be constant the constant slope it represents by straight line b c and d e right the name a b which is a dwell and c d and e f so a b c d and e f these three categories are dwell and b c is rise and d e is return right now how to draw the displacement diagram for uniform velocity so let me read the problem first right see the follower moves outward through 30 mm during 90 degree of cam rotation the follower move outwards outwards which means uh, this is rise and the follower moves from initial position to final position right so this is which is equal to displacement total displacement total displacement of the follower displacement total displacement of the follower which is 30 mm and the outward or rise the follower moves from initial position to final position at 90 degree of cam rotation first 90 degree of cam rotation and second sequence the follower dwells for the next 60 degree right first 90 degree the follower moves from initial position to uh, final position and next 60 degree the follower remains at same position right then the third sequence the follower returns to its original position during next 90 degree so next 90 degree the follower returns right follower returns from final position to initial position then rest of the period or dwell so this is dwell and this is rise and this is return and this is dwell 
the displacement of the follow air is to take place with uniform velocity during both outward and return stroke. So, we have to draw the diagram for rise and return with the uniform velocity, right? So, let me explain how to draw the how to draw the displacement diagram for uniform velocity for this problem, right? So, now here I am using software, but you have to do manually, right? Now, we are going to draw using uh, here I am using software. So, first we have to draw the line with three, three, 360 mm, because here the scale is 1 degree which is equal to 1 mm, right? So, first we have to draw the horizontal line with three, three, 360 mm length. Okay, the dimension which is equal to 300 mm, oh sorry 360 mm, yes the dimension which is 360 mm and now we are going to draw the displacement which is equal to height which is 30 and first 90 degree which is uh, out stroke and 60 degree dwell and next 90 degree return stroke then remaining rest of the period are dwell. 120 degree which is a dwell. So, now I want to trim uh, the bottom lines. So, I am giving a dimensions which is 90 degree for uh, first out stroke and next period which is dwell for uh, uh, about 60 degree according to the data is given the problem, uh, we have to follow the same sequence, right? Uh, what the um, what the sequence given in the problem? See in the problem or uh, uh, according to the problem, um, first 90 degree is out stroke, then 60 degree dwell, next 90 degree out stroke, then remaining 120 degree uh, dwell, okay? So, according to that, here uh, we drawn so, we will give the name, first one is out stroke, next one is dwell, so, first I am um, copying all those things. Now, I, I want to change like dwell, the next one is return stroke, the last one is dwell. Okay. So, now I want to divide the out stroke into n number of equal parts say uh, the optimum value which is 6. Okay? So, draw the horizontal line for each divisions, I mean so draw the vertical line for each divisions. Yes, draw the vertical line for each divisions. So, already I have divided 6 number of equal parts for out stroke. So, for that now I am uh, yeah, I drawn a line. So, similar to that uh, I want to divide the return stroke into n number of equal parts say 6 because already we divided 6 number of uh, parts for out stroke. So, we have to same the we have to divide the return stroke is also for uh, same number. So, now I am dividing the return stroke into 6 number of equal parts. Yes, now I want to trim all the bottom lines because we have to draw the line from top to bottom. The line should not cross the boundary. Now we have to uh, join the diagonals because uh, this is called as a uniform uh, velocity method. We have to 
uh, join the diagonals right see so this is out stroke the follower uh, moves from uh, initial position to top position then for dwell uh, the follower remains at the same position then again for return stroke the follower moves from uh, top position to the bottom position initial position then again dwell the follower uh, remains the same position so now we will give the name for uh, the cutting points Here I am using software, but uh, you have to draw manually. Yes, I want to change the names. One, next one two, next one three, next one four. SAS per sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then dwell, then uh, we start from return stroke from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So, here I am giving name for boundaries, then I want to give the name for cutting points. Uh, 